Unreal Engine 5 has finally been released, and whilst professional and amateur developers move beyond early builds of the 3D creation tool to get grips with its full version, we thought we'd take another look at the tech demos out there. As before, the unparalleled realism, immersive lighting, and photorealistic texture effects have us spellbound. It's hard not to get too swept away by some of these demos, as it remains to be seen how the intricate environments demonstrated here will be incorporated into video games that'll run smoothly at high frame rates. Matrix City Sample Demo There's a host of videos out there demonstrating the immersive qualities of the recently released Matrix City Sample, itself a free Unreal Engine 5 project. The crystal clear clarity invoked within a city complete with buildings, vehicles, and crowds of people, it's just missing Neo, Trinity, and friends to be the complete article. The camera view video by JS Films with its handheld shake and dusky lighting really sells the scene for me. I'm having a hard time convincing my brain that this isn't real life. Unreal Engine 5 Preview 2 Lumen Demo 4K by JS Films JS Films gives us a fantastic illustration of UE5's dynamic global illumination system Lumen in this interior kitchen video. The natural light sources in this demo are rich in realism. From the calming light bathing the bay window's edges with soft window frame shadows to the glassy highlights of the kitchen tiles, even the reflections of the kitchen appliances and fixtures reflecting off the kitchen tiles is realistically represented. The knock-on effect is a stuttering frame rate which hovers around 45 frames per second, so at present this attention to detail in settings lightings isn't quite up to scratch for video games. The Coalition, The Cavern, Cinematic Test Demo on Unreal Engine 5 The Coalition's Alpha Point tech demo was heavily featured in our previous Unreal Engine 5 rundown. With its character design and sci-fi temple of offering unprecedented pixel depth, their latest demo, The Cavern, shows how the movie quality assets inputted into UE5's Nanite system can be rendered in real time. The glistening pools surrounded by serrated rock valley are captivating enough, but it's the character's close-up once we're inside which steals the show for me. The mysterious shard held by the character offers the scene's sole light source, and as such, the intricate detail of their face is revealed. Their wrinkles, pores, individual strands of hair. Maybe this level of facial detail is overkill for a video game, but as a demonstration of things to come, it certainly captivates. The Great Garden Path, Unreal Engine 5 by Ramon Mansato. I love the calming tranquility of Ramon Mansato's Great Garden Path video. Something I touched upon a lot in the previous UE5 rundown was the tactile feeling provoked in me by the textures on display and Ramon's wooden benches are a perfect example of this. Presumably owing to UE5's Nanite system whereby textures captured from the film quality art sources can be rendered in real time. I find it immensely easy to imagine how the surface of that wood would feel under my fingertips. There's even a sense of weight that this level of detail adds. Perhaps my brain encourages this tangible sensory detail with the bench looking so lifelike. Unreal Engine 5, Destructible Vehicle. Matrix Awakens Demo by Smart Poly. The demonstration by Smart Poly sticks the vehicles supplied with UE5's free Matrix City sample and crash test dummies them, showing how exceptional the vehicle's crumple zones are. Smart Poly states this level of detail is achieved by a complete destructible mesh cloaking the vehicles. Check out the range of damage suffering during a crash. The hood, absorbing impact, folds in half up to the windscreen, whilst bits of bumper hang off beneath smashed headlights. It's some more much dynamic response than we've typically seen up to now. Unreal Engine 5 Path Tracing, The Carpenter's Cellar by Blackout and Art. Were it not for the pristine duct tape sticking out amongst the raft of weathered rusty items, I'd have a hard time figuring out if the basement wood shop was real. The attention to detail by Blackout and Art is simply staggering with its spirals of wood chip, being a particular standout for me. Now, it's worth mentioning that lighting in the scene is achieved by a real-time path tracing. Which, of course, is certainly beyond the means of current GPU hardware. Real-time path tracing is on the horizon, though. And when it arrives, we'll be hopeful that soft illumination and reflection from indirect lighting sitting in contrast with global illumination will be just as good as this. Ill, Your Only Way Down, UE5 Gameplay Footage by Team Clout Team Clout's upcoming first-person survival horror, Ill, has a brief gameplay reveal worth analyzing. The quality of the somber blue light enveloping the scene, with dust and shrapnel characterizing its destruction, seems totally believable to me. 
The character's hand movement sells the realism for me too, perhaps hinting at movement that is procedural rather than scripted. This is a tech demo though, so it's worth pointing out that whilst this footage has been captured in-game, it's possible it's pre-rendered. The features on display here may not be practical come the finished product either, but to me, I just love the visceral feel of this chilling environment. Star Atlas Pre-Alpha Gameplay Footage in Unreal Engine 5 This footage captured in a pre-alpha build of upcoming intergalactic metaverse Star Atlas looks incredible. For me, it's all about the reflections on the hulking great ship as it glides into the hangar. Look at how the metallic surfaces of the ship reflects different kinds of light, from the dust-triggered sun's bold reflection to the softer internal lights appearing less reflective but revealing paneling details and weathered textures on the ship's hull. This demo doesn't appear to be a gameplay footage though, it looks more like a choreographed cutscene, perhaps intended to drum up player investment into purchasing the game's blockchain assets. Superman Inspired Game Demos Playing as Superman and soaring over Metropolis has long been a dream for many a Superman fan. The problem has always been accurately translating Superman's power into gameplay mechanics. I'm not saying Unreal Engine 5 is the answer, but just look at the potential these Superman-inspired tech demos invoke. Crafting a deeply intricate open-world environment is of course possible in UE5, but it's the widespread destructibility which might pose insurmountable hurdles. Volad's Superman-type game does hint at the possibility for absolute destruction by utilizing Unreal Engine 5's chaos physics system to fling cars into each other. The Battlefield, a Star Wars short film made with Unreal Engine 5 by AFK. An alternative application for Unreal Engine 5 is of course creating animated movies. There's a handful of Star Wars themed short films made in Unreal Engine 5 by AFK, but this one stands out to me for its dynamic lighting and reflective surfaces. Again, I'm taken aback by the look and feel of surface detail with a grubbiness to the Stormtrooper's helmet enhancing believability. I believe the rain could have had more of an effect on their outfits, but aside from that, I'd be hard pressed to decide if these were actors in costume or not. Untitled Project by Occlusional Simply stunning is this teaser of an upcoming psychological horror game from developer Occlusional. The trees are so good in this teaser's outset that it's crazy to think Nanite doesn't support foliage yet. I'm captivated by the bleak lighting and immersive weather effects once the lightning strikes and I love the appearance of the rain as it cascades down over the lake's surface. Perhaps most excitingly, Occlusional state that this demo is running in real time inside Unreal Engine 5, so fingers crossed gameplay will be just like this by the time the game is released. Low Light Combat 2021 Launch Trailer Unreal Engine 5 Demo by Wolfire Games So, this here is an actual game that utilizes Unreal Engine 5 that you can play right now. Low Light Combat is a competitive shooter which uses shards of light as your only weapon. In terms of UE5, this game of course makes liberal use of its lumen system, with the dynamic global lighting rapidly shifting the game's moon base environments between a cycle of day and night. There's a fantastic level of detail in this game's geometry and surfaces too, thanks to UE5's nanite system. I just love the pixelated neon splash when you shoot an opponent too. Ultimately, I think Wolfire Games have achieved a seamless translation of UE5's new features into intriguing gameplay mechanics. You can give this a blast via the free demo on the game's Steam and itch.io pages. This is Photorealistic Concept Art in Unreal Engine 5 by Melum's Fire. Melum's Fire's work cropped up a couple of times in our previous Unreal Engine 5 rundown, and they're here again with this beautiful artistic concept. To achieve this level of detail, they've incorporated photogrammetry assets into UE5, and once again, it's Nanai doing the heavy lifting in terms of the environment's textural integrity. Melheim loves to play with the scene's sun position too, with the deep orange dusk proving appealing for me, especially as this was all recorded in real time at 60 FPS. UE5 Warm Night by Amir Fela Perhaps not the most realistic looking, but still pretty darn good showcase of UE5's capability on this rundown. What I love about this demo from Amir Fela is the stark contrast of lighting employed to add intoxicating depth of field, provoking multiple mindsets depending on where the camera rests in this setting. For instance, if I'm sat at the table, the lighting in this area is both comforting and warm. The combination of candlelight and faint overheads bathing the table sits in contrast to the chill of the window and its gloomy sodden weather happening outside. I imagine the closer I get to the window, the chillier I become. 
I think UE5's ability to demonstrate the contrasting feel of different light sources is what sells its realism for me, and Amir's video perfectly encapsulates this. Project Grunt Self-proclaimed hobbyist Axel has unleashed as complete a demonstration of UE5 as anyone, and it's incredible to me that they don't do this for a living. Nonetheless, Project Grunt looks spectacular with windswept desert vistas providing perfect playground for our Grunt's aggressive wanderings. I particularly love the Grunt's hair as it freely waves with every axe throw. A handful of frame rate drops aside, this demonstration is very accomplished. Did you know that we at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.